I would like to introduce um, Pansy Yusuf Basiron, but allow me to give a little bit of his background. Pansy is not only a renowned and an influential figure in the palm oil industry, he's also much respected for his experience and expertise. Okay. He has served in numerous portfolios and Tansri's track record in research stretches across three decades. Tansri Tatok, Dr. Yusuf Basiron is the executive director of CPOPC. Tansri leads the CPOPC in strategy direction for the improvement of the palm oil sector. Tansri, it's your floor. Thank you, Prabha. Yang berhormat, Datuk Haja Zuraida Kamarudin, Minister of Plantation Industries and Commodities. Uh, good and distinguished speakers and participants, good morning. Selamat pagi. And on behalf of the organizer, CPOPC, or Council of Palm Oil Producing Countries, I welcome you to this webinar. First, I would like to extend my warmest greeting to Yang Bahormat for gracing us with a keynote address this morning. Next, I would like to extend my regards to our other distinguished speakers, Eric, Mr. Eric Q. Kwong, Wong Seng of Sarawak All Palm Plantations, All Palm Zubarhat, uh, Dato Haji Daud Ahmad Zain of the Incorporated Society of Planters, Professor Dr. Ahmad Ibrahim of UCSI University. Thank you for your valuable time to be here with us today. To all participants, thank you for being here this, this morning with us, albeit still virtually. And I hope you are all doing well, especially in times of this ongoing pandemic challenge, where many of us have been heavily impacted, particularly in the economic aspects. Malaysia has inherited and developed a great palm oil industry that contributes to the country's economy, food security, employment, suitable agriculture development, sustainable agriculture development, and forest conservation. And most important of all, the oil palm provides green tree cover on our agricultural land that removes CO2 and generates O2, oxygen. And these are good for the environment, especially in mitigating climate change. The purpose of our gathering today is to bring greater awareness, especially to our millennials, what a treasure we have in the oil palm industry. Our young generation might have heard the great struggles of the older generation such as the Felda settlers in developing the oil palm plantations throughout the country. Now that the industry is already sustainably developed and the high palm oil prices makes it very lucrative, it requires the support and energy of the young generation to build the industry into an even more lucrative industry in the future. Our success in developing the industry has attracted opponents to undertake smear campaigns, accusing the industry of causing deforestation or the oil is less desirable compared to their oils. The truth is that oil palm is the best crop to plant on our agriculture land because it is high yielding and requires the least land and minimum deforestation. And in terms of food, palm oil is proven to improve your cholesterol ratio, and therefore it is one of the best oils to consume as part of our food system. So my main message today is how can the young generation as inheritors of this great industry be aware of the cynical smear campaign imposed by the NGOs and opponents of palm oil and take steps to help defend the industry by sharing the truth that the palm oil industry is good for the environment and for the food system of mankind and how the millennials can continue to contribute to the building of a more lucrative and sustainable palm oil industry in the future. 
taking over from the old generation who have successfully established this great industry thus far? How can the millennial help fight the social media war against the opponents of the palm oil industry? One way is to follow the debate in palmoildiscourse.com as uh, partner, our partner, Mr. Prabha is hoping to do. For today's deliberations, we have heard of the industry being heavily impacted during this pandemic, predominantly due to labor shortage. Ironically, jobs in the palm oil sector do not seem to interest millennials. It is still common to find young people perceiving this sector and the agriculture sector unattractive as a field of career without realizing the importance of the sector in their everyday lives. Additionally, other factors such as the growth of e-commerce, digital technology, and real estate seem to appeal more to young people. Everyone seems to want to be digital nomads these days. The oil palm sector, however, employs digital system as well, perhaps unknown to many of you today. The oil palm sector is a rich 70 uh, ringgit, billion ringgit industry per annum. Yeah? So I'm here to share with you, all the young people especially, that there is a future and plenty of bright opportunities for you uh, in the palm oil sector. Just like what the title of this webinar says. I've seen many people come a long way in this industry School leavers who did not have much or any direction in life become plantation supervisors after years of dedication and hard work. The palm oil sector is one of the most lucrative sectors to be employed in. And big companies like Sarawak Oil Palm, Barhat, and Samdabi Plantations are looking for highly motivated people to join their teams. Remember that this is an industry that cares for the welfare and the growth of its employees. With palm oil prices reaching high levels currently, hopefully setting the new trend for the future, the industry should be creating better employment environment to attract the young generation to work in the sector. For example, recruitment of workers can be facilitated by MPOB, Malaysian Palm Oil Board, offering training where trainees are given adequate allowances and subsequent placement in the plantation companies. Other industries have their recruitment system established, but this is probably not yet established for the palm oil industry. The recruitment system for labor and skilled workers for the palm oil industry have to, to be developed under the MPIC Malaysian uh, Plantation Industries and Commodity Ministry, perhaps with MPOB as the agent of implementation. Plantation companies must also do their part in this workers' recruitment system. To make it attractive, it is commonplace for palm oil companies to provide all sorts of facilities, including housing for their employees and facilities such as schools and childcare center for their families. It could be envisaged that through the MPIC and MPOB labor recruitment and training system, that youth can come into this sector with their group of friends and start their training in batches as harvesters, etc., and be placed in plantation employment as per their trained groups to provide familiar friends in their working place. Other innovative employment uh, and working environment uh, system can be designed to attract local youth to work in the oil palm plantation sector to reduce, to reduce labor shortage and dependence on foreign labor. This can be an opportune time as, uh, to do it as prices of palm oil are high, making new initiative more affordable to implement. Before I end my remarks, it is my hope and desire that you will take advantage of this valuable opportunity of being agents of change in the palm oil industry, our country's most highly regarded commodity that has been well marketed worldwide. 
Lastly, I wish you all a most successful webinar and sincerely hope that each and every one of you who participate in this seminar uh, webinar will learn some important insights to be applied for the future. Stay healthy to all. Thank you.